I'm fresh out of fresh. I step out the steps, I'm wall running for the flex. Pete told me I was next. I'm coming for next, it really isn't no question. Only super hills in a section, only big bangers on a set list. On top of buildings where I eat breakfast, and I shine like a new necklace. Oh, come on, not these guys again. I hate these guys so much. Ow, I was stunned. I couldn't even move. All right, that one was my fault. That one was definitely my fault. Why do you guys keep saying the real Spider-Man? I got more shit than him. Oh, come on. Don't go dodging my shit. Did I get oh the big guy got knocked out from the aftershock? Damn it. Where the fuck did you guys go? Oh come on. I'm sorry. Damn, I'm not moving too fast. Are still you left? Oh, another fucking... Good job, holograms. Get him. God, how many hits do you take? Is that the last of them? I think it is. Nope. Apparently it's not. Now that's the last of them. Before Finn destroys the reactor. Yankee, talk to me. How's the 
evacuation going. Yeah. Rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. There was about a dozen people. We're breaking up. Where are you? Genki? If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. All right. Let me actually see my skills. I got four skill points. What is this? I uh, might as well upgrade them. I got nothing else. I don't know what they do. Got nothing else though. Never seen a storm this bad. God, it's all hazy and shit. I can barely see anything. It's like Silent Hill in here. Look at that lighting. Ain't it beautiful? Genki. Can you hear me? Genki. I completely forgot that I still had that equipped. Oh, fuck. That did a lot of damage. God damn it, guys. How, um, how did he not go up? I gotta get rid of the racks on, guys. They are really, like, ruining me here. That was a nice one, Miles. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Sorry I'm being so quiet. <laughs> I'm just focusing. I really am. There's a lot going on right now. Can you can you leave me alone, bitch? My spider sense isn't even going off and you're getting shots on me. Come on.
protect yourself, okay? Get out of there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll leave it to him. Stay safe, Gloria. You too. How is how is Pete not knowing any of this? How does Peter not know any of this is going on right now? It is crazy. It's all out war here. Where the fuck? Whoa. God, the camera's so close to me. I don't even know what's going on half the damn time. I'm just reacting. There's just action and reactions going on here. I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing. God. Okay, I got no spider sense for that. I guess that's the point. <laughs> like, I know Miles has a weaker spider sense, but come on, man. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They're shooting rockets at me. Oh, God. God damn it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. There's two of them? Are you kidding me? Stop shooting at me, damn it. no chance to dodge that oh, god oh you kidding me come on i'm getting stuck God. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a lot. That was too much. Yankee, where are you? Can you guys make a break for it? Who's that? Someone there. Guys. Guys. Listen, hey. We need to get out of here. I can only carry some of you. Oh, come on, Finn. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch. You put that gun down. Pete, where are you? Get out of here, young blood. You've got more important things to do. He's right. Let's go. We'll get people clear. I'll be back. 
I knew it was either going to be the Prowler or Pete was just going to show up and be like, I'm here, Miles! Finn, what happened to nobody gets hurt? Are you serious? Look at what you're doing. You think I'm lying? Oh, fuck. Somebody's been watching a lot of anime. Your bone should be bro your back should be broken after that, like for real. Look at all that ray tracing, it's beautiful. I can't let you do this. I can't let you stop me. Ow, okay. You gotta stop what you're doing. Take a moment. Take a deep breath. Think about this, ow. So much for this fucking perfect dodge upgrade. God damn it. Oh my fucking god. Wow. My spider sense is just bullshit. <sighs> Trying to get some distance from you, damn it. A little bit. Get the wrong way, Miles. Thinks the same thing. I mean, I can't. You're right about that. But I can sure as well, goddamn, try. I'm just trying to find some fucking. Oh, God. I'm just trying to find something to throw at you. Ow! Going, Finn. Finn, look, the reactor's still going critical. Soon we won't be able to stop it. No, I am not running away again. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that. Yeah, I expect it as much. Ow! I didn't try to run away. You threw me off.
Come on. My wives do nothing to you. They do nothing. Oh, that was a trick. You tricked me. Put me in a false sense of security. How dare you? I need you to come over here. I need you to break this for me. So I can throw it at you. Good job. Good job. Not anymore, you lied to me, Miles. Damn it. <laughs> She's stuck. Oh my fucking god, you're just... You're just, you're just doing everything. Everything you possibly can. We're not dis We're not disposable. Oh my fucking god, that attack is devastating. I can't even dodge that. <laughs> oh my god. You grab the rock miles. What happened? I'm not going to be used. I can't change your mind, but I have to stop that reaction. Fuck. This is the only way to stop Rockstar from hurting people. Look outside. They're hurting now. God, man, they just. Whew. Just wanted to chime in and let you know, so you don't worry. We're gonna be just fine if this building blows. Hell, we'll be fine if all of Harlem blows. I mean, do you have any idea what kind of insurance we've got? Oh, and the opposite, being the victims of a terrorist attack. Forget Roxxon Plaza. Coming soon, Roxxon City. God damn it, Finn. I have to stop him. Not like this. I'm working off an of instinct here. I just want to point that off. Point that off. Point that out. Because you really don't get any notification for dodging. Maybe it's because I'm on the hardest difficulty. Oh! Did you feel that? Yeah, I did, Miles. I'm dead. Just wanted to chime in and let you know, so we're gonna be just fine with this building. Oh my fucking god. She broke her own turn with my body. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me?
I'm very tired. Very, very tired. Oh God! Don't make me kill you. You can't win. Why do you keep fighting? Because I'm Spider-Man. What the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I bet. I bet we're not done yet. She is really ridiculous. Broke her fucking back. Come on, Finn, just stop it. Just stop. Oh, shit. How is your spine not broken yet? Ouch! Fucking finally! God damn it! Now look at what you've done! You think about that. This shouldn't be happening. I can stop it. Oh no, attacked by the ray tracing. Miles is getting fucking hurt.
Like, are you kidding me? Like, Pete didn't get it this bad in the other game. God damn. This whole entire game, Miles has just been getting brutally beaten up. I mean, he is more resilient than Pete. But still, like, god damn. Come on, Miles, you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta stop the ray tracing from destroying the city. It's too much. The world's not ready for this much ray tracing. It's so bright and reflective. Damn, Miles is just getting like beat on this whole entire game. <laughs> Jesus. Also, this continuity of Spider Man is just like fuck secret identity. Forget about it. Everybody knows. Good job, Spider-Man.
get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? He's Spider-Man. There you go. Ultimate sacrifice. God damn. I said it earlier in this playthrough, but for some reason, in the last Spider-Man, I didn't get the feels. In this one, it's nothing but the feels. Oh my god. Wow. I still can't get over that suit. So cool. It's gotta be me. Yeah, you do. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxon did this uptown because they saw us at disposable. Me, Rick, Finn. All of Harlem. But I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We ride it to the Spider-Man out. Pete, you're a bitch. Rhino hit you once. <laughs> and you're like, Ugh, I can't move. with spider-man Miles morales and also my fucking transition to the ps5 god damn uh i'm beyond i I'm, I'm not sure who does the soundtrack for this game i i think i'm gonna look it up right now actually i think it's jaden smith i think it's actually jaden smith which if it is then i'm actually really surprised because i don't i don't like jaden smith Who does who does the soundtrack? I'm gonna get fucking flagged like a motherfucker. Let me see. It is it is Jaden Smith. Yeah. Surprise! I'm not gonna lie. Surprisingly, all the songs in this game has have been pretty good. So props to him, but god damn it, this game is good. For any people who are worried that this isn't a full game, um, chill out. 
it is a full game. It's just not as long as the first Spider-Man. Like, this game is like a good, what, six hour game? Or something like that. And if you do the, if you do the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, side quests and stuff, like, it's a little bit longer, maybe add like three hours to it. But the story itself, honestly, I like this better than the first Spider-Man, right off the bat. The boss fights themselves are better, they're more interactive, right? Um, what else? I'm really, I'm really surprised how much Liberty, like, Miles Morales is still new in the comics. Like, he's only been around for nine, nine going on ten years, right? So, like, there's still a lot of room to do new things with him. But I'm really surprised how how they're just able to do whatever they want with this continuity of Spider-Man. Like, honestly, honestly, real talk, it feels like they're taking the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, feels like they're taking the, to Brian Michaels, writers and artists, thank you for showing us, no matter who you are, where you from, look like, oh, okay. Chadwick, yep. Wakanda forever. Damn right. Damn right. This is definitely a good game. It's def it's definitely better than than um the original Spider Man. Also uh oh shit, finally. I was wondering when we were gonna get to this. There has to be like an after credit scene. Is Harry finally waking up? Like, that's what I mean earlier when I said, like, Oscorp's had, like, a real strange, like, they're not really involved in this story, especially after that cliffhanger. I mean, it's a Miles story, so. Oh, shit. It's, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, uh, Doctor, uh, the Lizard, fuck. Connors, thank you, Kirk Connors. You know, it's it's going to be really interesting that in this continuity, the first introduction to Venom is going to be with both uh, P and Miles. So definitely the next game, they're probably going to do a lot with that, work that up. Um, I just really, like, like I said at the end of my last Spider-Man playthrough, at the end of the DLC stuff, and at the end of, at the beginning of here, I just really hope that they follow just a nice structure of like maybe four games if they want to do more after that they could but like if they're gonna do the batman arkham route then it's just spider-man spider-man has his game miles has his game they both team up fight venom and then you do carnage right for the fourth game if you really want to go the carnage route you do carnage or hell if you want to take a maybe the next game for dlc they'll do separation anxiety or something like that like build up to it don't rush it let them have their stories right and who knows maybe if they do a game with carnage you can play as both pete miles and fucking and uh venom right but definitely the next game definitely the next game you're going to be switching off between pete and miles there's no doubt about that uh, they're each going to have their different play styles. I'm pretty sure P if, if this game is any evidence for anything, and I am playing on the hardest difficulty, like even then I talked to someone else and they said that the spider sense is really like, it's really like weird in this game. Uh, not weird, but weird in the sense that it's like really tight timing. So definitely, definitely in the game where like Pete and Miles... Uh, where you switch off between them, they'll have differences. Like, 
Pete's Pete's a little bit more faster with re with reactions, and he can do like the ultimate stuff, like the web blossom attack and stuff like that. And then Miles has all his venom, and maybe he's like more resilient to hits and stuff because he doesn't his dodge isn't that good. And then who knows? Whenever Venom becomes playable, because I, I feel like they're definitely going to do something like that at some point. Venom will be playable at some point in one of these games. There's no doubt about it. Um, at least to me, I feel like there's no doubt about him. Like, maybe they just give him a bunch of super armor shit. Right? Like, just a big brute. Just fucking things up. Um, but I really hope, I really hope, like, I, like, I don't want them to do everything I say to a T, but I really hope they follow some sort of structure like that instead of whatever the fuck the Amazing Spider-Man was trying to do. I swear, I told people not to buy that game. That game was going to be bad, and everybody wasted 60 bucks on that game. It was ridiculous. Like, the first game, what the fuck? And then the second game was like, oh, here's Carnage. God damn. Jared, call 911. Spider Man's broken in and is killing us with fire. Oh, God, this is delicious. Got a commercial, Jared. I got some feasting to do. Oh, no, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jared. Ow. Really? <laughs> That's amazing. Yo, know, Miles definitely did that just to get kicks out of it. He's like, here you go. Oh, Spider-Man's killing us with fire. That's amazing. All right. Uh, but yeah, in, in terms of story writing, they seem to be. It seems to be like a really good mixture of uh, the comics and like and some of the flair from writing that that like the uh, the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe has for Spider-Man because because there's definitely there's definitely some some stuff in there like i'm not saying it's like tied to it or anything like that i'm just saying there's definitely a little bit of inspiration in there especially with all the liberties they're taking for characters and stuff and continuity it's just like it's like man who get hide your hide your secret identity miles nah man who gives a fuck <laughs> everyone knows everyone's identity it's crazy i'm surprised that uh like I knew they were gonna do something where we had to fight against the Prowler. There's no way you're putting him in this game, in a Miles game, without fighting him. I'm surprised that it uh that it went the way it did. I honestly thought he was gonna end up getting like really hurt at some point, because you know every Spider-Man has that that uh that tragic moment of like oh shit oh shit this is real, right? And I guess for this instead of uh you know Prowler getting hurt, it's a uh, Finn, so. That's interesting. This game has nothing but feels though, straight up. Maybe it's the fact that I'm playing with headphones or something like that. But yeah, as for the PS5 um, playing this, I'm surprised we had no glitches yet on the PS5 version. Uh, granted, it's the end of the game and that's what we're doing. But um, but like, what what else do I say? You know, a lot of people were getting glitches on it. I've only gotten glitches on the PS4 version so far. Even when I, uh, earlier today, I tested the, uh, PlayStation 5 version a little bit. I got no glitches in it. Um, as for the PS5 itself, it's fine. It's very quiet. It is, it is, like, I don't like that everybody's been going like, it's a big console, but no lie, it is a big console. It is the same length as my goddamn PC tower. It is ridiculous. Like... It's ridiculous in the sense of you're really gonna notice it and especially when you're taking it out the box you're gonna be like oh i can't pick this up with one hand i gotta slide it out i gotta like i gotta like get it out of there but um 
I mean, it's it's not stupid big. Like, if you have a PC, this wouldn't bother you, right? You already know what you're expecting. It's a it's a smaller in terms of like height, it's the same as a PC tower. In terms of width, it's smaller. In terms of depth, it's smaller, right? Cuz all that's in here is the heat sink. Um if you're someone who's trying to get into PC gaming, honestly, at this point, I would say just get a like at this point at this point the consoles the money you get for the power this shit puts out is really good it's really good same thing with the xbox uh series x not xbox series s fuck that who cares series x that's good too um if you really want to get into next gen or something uh, like me, I made my PC and I just updated it because I wanted to play Cyberpunk when it came out on my PC with like really good specs and stuff. Now that I have the PS5, honestly, I think I'm just going to buy it on PS5. I honestly think I'm just going to buy it on PS5 because it's going to have ray tracing and everything, right? And it's going to run fine. Well, hopefully, well, in terms of the hardware, it's going to run fine. In terms of the software, that depends on CD Projekt Red. Or Project Red, whatever the hell you want to say. But, yeah, I'm rambling about the PlayStation 5. There's still more tests I got to do with this. Still some games I want to test and other things I want to play. But, um, yeah, let's skip this, actually. I, I don't want to skip the credits because I like to, you know, pay tribute. But there's a lot going on. Look at that ray tracing on that suit, it's beautiful. By him. There's the Tesseract. <laughs> There's the Space Stone hiding in there. Alright, I gotta have a fucking side quest or something. I'm a chef Take off my mask, reveal. 